today is May 27th. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, May vlog was a lot, so going into June. Uh, today, I went to go visit my brother in Rolla. He is actually getting a, an engineering management degree uh, with a minor in aerospace. Pretty proud of him. He's really smart. <laughs> Incredibly smart, actually. He's also very kind. Um, he's in a fraternity. And so I actually haven't seen him up in Rolla really in that environment since his freshman year, so about four years ago. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer to graduate up there. I went to go visit that and see his place. It's very eclectic. Um, it kind of reminds me of like what I would do if I was 22 years old, um, first place. I mean, the place was decked out with like 1970s and 80s even 90s posters, video game posters, um, like some movies, albums, VHS tapes were everywhere. Um, they actually had like all these old CRT TVs of uh, varying sizes, I'll show you some of them, uh, and they were all playing the same thing throughout the entire house, as well as like projectors and high def TVs were all playing the same thing. It was pretty crazy. Um, there's actually a bar inside of the garage of the place. Um, so they, they built a bar in the garage, uh, which is basically another living room for him. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, I'm glad that he's got friends that he can room with. I'm glad that he's made friends, uh, that he can hang out with. So overall, it was a pretty good trip. Got to see him. No one else was there. So it was just him and the place. Um, my entire family got to just visit and relax and hang out. Uh, and just kind of like see where he's at, what he's doing, and uh, it was a fun time. Today's May 31st. Scary situation with the business, uh, mostly about longevity. Um, my hands have been hurting a lot. Looks like she won't be part of it. Nothing. Mm. Here we go. Um, about a month ago, I went to see a doctor about it, and they referred me to a specialist who I'm seeing today. Basically what's happening is there's a lot of pain in my digits, my fingers, specifically my middle fingers, um, pointers, and thumbs. The scary part is if it needs surgery or if it delays the production of the business, that's kind of why I'm documenting this because it does need to be like, that is something like humans have to maintain their bodies. So hopefully we can figure out what's going on. Got back from the doctor, basically what he said with my hand was that the x-rays that we took at the previous appointment that I had looked normal. Everything looks fine on that front. So there was no like physical damage to my hand, which means it's only possibly could be soft tissue. So in about four to six weeks, I'm gonna go in for an MRI where I get to hold my hand in the machine and have them scan it for like 45 minutes. Uh, while they go through all the various layers and I try to stay very still. That's not going to be fun. Other option, because he was basically like, well, I don't know if you need surgery or not until we do have the MRI, but you may need injections, but we don't know necessarily where to put the injections. So the MRI should hopefully shed some light on what is happening inside of my hand and my fingers to see where that pain is emanating from exactly, like where that point is and what they can do in order to fix it. What you doing?
Uh, it's Father's Day. And uh, Rainy, I'm gonna go see my dad. I get to spend a lot of time with my dad on Father's Day, which is really nice because he and I live fairly far apart. We don't get to see each other super often. Um, but this is actually me and my mom going through photos for about two or three hours. My dad was there, um, but he was uh, in the other side of the room. Uh, we basically just wanted to look at old things to digitize these photos and kind of remember these activities that we did. And I had some questions about my past as well as, as far as uh, some certain things that happened uh, medically, actually. Um, but we mostly wanted to focus on just where we came from and who we are as a family. And I got to do that with my mom and dad. It was really lovely. Uh, my sister Kelsey was also there, so she shared in the moments as well. As you guys can see here, there are a lot of boxes, and I have to now digitize all of these photos, so that should be fun. Um, but the main reason that we're doing this is also because for my future nieces and nephews, I want to create some content for them to where they can understand who I am and where I came from, as well as the rest of the family, and kind of get more of an understanding of the history of who we are as a, as a group and as a people, because I feel it's important for them to know um, I mean, obviously they're going to learn who we are growing up, but, you know, as we age, obviously our opinions and things change, so I think this is a really good way of kind of explaining to them each about who we are, so... Hi, it is June 26th. Haven't done much this month uh, from what I was going to do, which really is kind of disappointing. I really was hoping to do more. Um, unfortunately, I sent some pictures, but like I got poison sumac all over my arm, which this is healing. Um, I didn't take pictures. Well, I did. I actually had to go see a doctor. Um, I took pictures with them because I did it via teledoc, but I didn't really want to do anything that would have like be too crazy i also wanted to make sure that it got taken care of but the biggest issue was that one not only was that like as you can see this is a fairly large patch it's healed this is like almost two and a half weeks of healing um two and a half weeks ago it looked much more inflamed it was oozing it was appearing literally all over my body um and i i had to be like no no, no we can't do this anymore um so i actually ended up kind of taking like two and a half weeks off from doing anything i still like worked and stuff because well i gotta work except for actually like two days of, during this time because like the meds just like they just ate me up inside and eventually my body was like nope um so i had two days where i couldn't even work like i was bad uh i also tried to cut some stuff and i couldn't even cut in a straight line which i mean if you're making things square which i mean so far right on my channel you're like wow you just caring about things being square i actually do care about things being square I just like micro adjust and understand that the things I'm making for my shop right now are, are really just for my garage are temporary uh, and they're to get me started. Um, I have proceeded to go ahead and kind of like work on like getting things more square and that understanding that like blade setup, making sure that my height on my saw is correct across the, the thing that it's flat, which you'll see I'm actually doing a shop upgrade right now. Uh, that explains that and kind of goes into it um, about what I'm doing exactly. Um, but I just want to let you guys know, like, um, it was kind of hard. Uh, nothing serious, but just it, it got pretty gnarly there for a while where I just felt self-conscious with myself. Like, not only can I not cut straight lines, but I was having issues typing. I was having issues, like, even sleeping. Like, I would only get two or three hours of sleep a night. And I just, my mind was just not in it. Again, June 26th of today, I'm getting back on track to doing more like regular stuff. The only issue I'm running into now is the heat. Over the last week, it has been over 90 degrees almost every single day, and it is not gonna stop until, I'm gonna guess October. It is hot, hot, hot. It's not even raining anymore. It's just hot. There's some rain, and I, I had some shots of rain in the beginning of the month, kind of the middle of the month, but like, is hot and it's not good so thank you guys for watching uh again i will keep going with this uh this vlog 
Um, the next video to come out will probably be me doing some shop upgrades. Thank you guys for your patience with me. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day.